All right, for the teapot walkthrough, we want to begin with a cylinder. So while this is a component level exercise, we do start with a primitive and kind of build on from that. I am going to take advantage of the inputs here to get started. I'll make the radius 5, the height 10. Uh, I'll keep the subdivisions at Let's go to 18. Um, and that looks good. All right, I'm going to change the pivot point of my object. I'll hit home, and I'm going to hold down the V and pull that to the bottom. I'll hit W to move, and then I'm going to hit X to kind of snap that to the base. So now if I wanted to scale, it would scale from the base. All right. Uh, this is an exercise about polygon primitives, and you should have already watched an intro to that. And to get to the primitives, you, uh, I'm sorry, the components to the primitives, you hold down the right mouse button, and you can select vertexes, vertices, or edges, or faces. Uh, so what... The, one of the first things we want to do is to add an edge loop. And if you notice, if I select edges and if I double click, this is an edge loop. It goes all the way around. And there's one at the bottom as well. We want to add a few divisions in the center here so we can get, begin to give this cylinder some shape. And to do that, uh, you would go into your mesh tools and there is one called insert edge loop tool. Uh, when you click that, your cursor is going to change to this uh, this little navigation triangle. And when you click on an edge, it's going to create a loop perpendicular to the edge. So if I click here, uh, this is the new geometry that will be created. And I'm just going to put a few in here. Um, actually, let's do one at a time. And as I put it in, it, while it's selected, I can go ahead and hit the R key uh, for scale. And I can go ahead and scale this teapot as I go. Then I'm going to hit G, which duplicates the last tool or action, which in this case was our insert edge loop. So I'm going to hit G in this view. Sorry, G. And uh, I'm going to hit R. And uh, I should have thought about this ahead of time. I'm not sure how I want my coffee pot to look, or but I hit G again. And maybe G one more time. And you can make yours however you like. I uh, don't feel like you have to copy mine here because uh, I'm not real sure how I want mine to look. Alright, let's just go with that. Let's say that's that. Which doesn't look a teapot at all, but we'll, we'll worry about that later. We um, Once we have our shape defined by the uh, insert edge loop, uh, we can go into a side view and suppose I want to select the whole ring here and uh, if I begin to scale that's only going to scale in one direction which may look good from the side but notice nothing changed in the front view and you notice from the top view it's uh, it's only scaling in one dimension so if you're going to do that we want to scale from the middle and that way it'll scaling uniformly. I'm going to fatten this base up some because we want it to hold a lot of water. Okay. All right. Once we have our base shape, we want to go ahead and add, add the spep. But we'll, I'll go ahead and do that in the next video. But in this video, uh, go ahead and create your cylinder and put a few edge loops in there and 
uh, scale those and create a shape that you're satisfied with from the, the side. See you in the next video.